Howdy, welcome back to the game in five. Now we're gonna unbox the Cheeseburger 4 Pro. Now if there's more boxes inside this box, I'm gonna be pissed. It's a box inside another box. What in the hell is going on these days? Got a quick start guide in case you need help plugging stuff in. More boxes. At first you might just wonder why I'm staring at this power cord, but I kind of thought I was just going to swap my PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 4 Pro, but it looks like the power cord for the PlayStation 4 Pro is a different one. So keep that in mind that when you do swap your consoles, if you get one of these, you got to actually use the new power cable as the old one is a different plug. USB charging cable for your controller. Absolutely worthless one mono earbud headset. Now this is what they claim to be the new remodeled PlayStation 4 controller. And one of the funny things is they actually have another light up here on the top, kind of like saying, we know you like lights all up in your face. Now a couple of differences I do immediately notice is that the face where the buttons and the D-pad are are no longer gloss. They're actually met on this version. Also to note, I believe these analog sticks actually are a little more gray as opposed to the old PlayStation 4 which had black analog sticks. In fact, it looks like the triggers, shoulder buttons, and D-pad are all actually slightly gray as well as the share and options button. So you got kind of a black and gray setup going here. Not that I prefer that as the factory controller is gloss black and black analog sticks actually looked a little better. All right, maybe the cheeseburger jokes are completely true. They got your bread, a slice of meat, another piece of bread, another slice of meat, another piece of bread. Okay, old joking aside, it's actually not that bad looking. In person, it looks a little better than it does in pictures. Now, I do want to note that the feet on the bottom are actually the shape, and I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that, are actually the shape of the various buttons on the PlayStation 4 controller, which is kind of a nice little touch. Additionally, they fortunately added another USB port on the back of the console, which is a godsend if you own a PlayStation 4 and you know what it's like to try and plug stuff in. All in all, I'll say the build quality is a little feeling on the cheap side, especially compared to the Xbox One S, but I have to admit, I'm a little more impressed now that I've actually seen it in person. Now, I do want to let you know I will be working on my review of the PlayStation 4 Pro, and I will be trying out some select games, but you might not see the review on the PlayStation 4 Pro until more games are patched. That way I can really give you an analysis if this is worth your money. All right, well, that's it for today. I'll see you next time on the Gaming 5, or will I? Oh, damn it, I trapped myself in here with all these boxes.